Remember the last time you walked into a hospital or local doctor's office? Did you notice or even think about the design elements or medical products involved in your care? My name is Teresa Boyer, and in my lightning talk, Why Medicine Should Use Cradle-to-Cradle -cradle Design to Actively Improve Women's Health, I will address how environmentally conscious medical design can promote the health of women and their communities. Let's consider these two hospital rooms, one used for an ill infant and the other for childbirth. Polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, is a commonly used synthetic plastic polymer. Within these hospital rooms, PVC is hiding in disposable gloves, various medical tubing, and PVC-based IV bags. Each stage of the unidirectional PVC life cycle contains environmental concern. The manufacturing process generates harmful chemicals and compounds. The versatility and use of PVC can be enhanced through additives like the plasticizer DEHP, while landfilling or waste incineration mark the disposal stage. In terms of women's health, numerous studies support a troubling link to exposure to chemicals and pollutants like PVC and DEHP to increase rates of miscarriage, cancer, preterm birth, and neurodevelopmental delays in exposed infants. Innovative strategies are urgently needed to address these gender-based environmental health disparities. Medical design remains an often overlooked opportunity to create sustainable products that support the health of both the user and the surrounding community. Cradle-to-cradle -cradle design is a form of regenerative design. The technical cycle and biological cycle can operate independently or they can exchange nutrients. This ensures the regeneration of materials within the cycles. Applying the cradle-to-cradle -cradle philosophy to medical design allows us to view design as a form of both gendered and community-based environmental activism. For example, we can advocate for the use of safer alternative polymers that lead to less harmful product breakdown. Furthermore, we can support product redesign and investment in additional research regarding biodegradable plastics. So, I encourage you to critically analyze the next hospital or clinic you enter. Think carefully about how various product designs perpetuate a damaging unidirectional system. Instead, we must advocate for the introduction and research of products that support a regenerative cycle, and thereby the social and physical well-being of women, the surrounding community, and future generations.